What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? It is Jason Chen. I welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm talking about DJ Fusion experiences. And if you're a DJ working in the private event industry, if you're doing events in the corporate world, if you're doing nightlife or daylife, this video hopefully will help you if you are looking to expand upon your DJ service and incorporate working with live musicians at the same time. We call that Fusion at SCE, and we've been doing it for well over 10 years. We've done it at scale, and we've done it all over the United States and beyond. And it's one of my personal favorite things to do for the people that I'm able to work for. I think it allows us to shift the overall feel and the overall landscape of our events in many, many different ways. And it's been becoming incredibly popular at scale all over the world. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can do fusion, but I was working the other day at the Shadowbrook and Shrewsbury, which happens to be one of my favorite properties anywhere. And I was working with two of my favorite musicians that we work with at SCE, Crystal Vargas on percussion and Gabby Rose on the sax. And we had a great time crushing this wedding celebration for an amazing couple at just this insanely dope property. I thought of this video when we were working because I think there's a lot of DJs that could benefit from just a couple of things to keep in mind if you are looking to take your business into the world of fusion in some capacity. I think there's a couple of things to think about when you incorporate live musicians. First and foremost, it's super important that you understand who your talent is and what they're capable of. And you need to understand their level, right? There's a lot of different people that work within every industry. Sometimes some musicians are better at certain things than others. It really depends on how they were trained, how long they've been doing it, and if they have knowledge of events and performance. Obviously, the more experience, the more creative you can be with the overall experience as a whole. So my first piece of advice is understand your talent, understand what they're capable of, understand what their shortfalls may be, think through how you can use their strengths and or weaknesses to benefit the event that you are hosting. After understanding who they are and what they're capable of doing, I think it's super important that if you are just getting started working with a musician, that you touch base about the expectations for that specific event that you are hired to perform at. It's very, very important that you guys are all on the same page. And if there's a sequence of events or expectations either from you or from that client, the person that hired you, you communicate that and you have a conversation about it with the person that will be on site with you for this event. Now, talking about performance and the event as a whole, I think it's super important for you as the DJ to understand that you are the captain of the ship. You're driving the performance, and it is important that you make sure that that musician is in a comfortable place all night long. I think it's also important to mention it's not necessary to have them full throttle and involved from the moment the music starts to the moment the music ends. I think what makes a great fusion experience is kind of building different moments over the course of the celebration, pushing them forward for interactive segments or giving them the chance to let loose and to tear during moments like dinner. We did this really, really cool thing just last weekend where we brought Gabby out onto the center of the dance floor. We darkened the room completely, put a spotlight on the middle of the floor, immersed the floor with clouds, and let her play one of the couple's dinner requests. I thought it was really, really cool. And what we did is we used our theatrical enhancements like dancing on the clouds and lighting to help make this a performance. And it was a five minute plus performance of Gabby crushing Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. The cool thing is the clouds started, then they started to get wavy. Then what we did is once we totally immersed the dance floor, I took a fan from the other side of the room and blew the cloud blanket up around her during a big part of the song. We let that cloud cover to settle. Then we totally immersed the floor one more time and blanketed it with the clouds as she finished the track and the entire room went crazy. This was unannounced and while people enjoyed their dinner. It's about creating moments and letting people be who they are and allowing them to flex as long as it fits within the overall experience you're trying to create. I think what kills when you are working with musicians is creating opportunity for layered entertainment where you might push forward, you might pull back, but you actually allow the musicians to excel during certain moments in time. Another cool example of what I'm talking about is during this party when everyone was raging towards the end of the night, the dance floor is packed and we had Crystal and Gabby along with a couple in the middle of the floor. I kind of caught 
this vibe where I was bringing them all together, singing some throwback anthem stuff. And I thought it would be really cool to really push the creativity with the talent we had on site. How this unfolded is I ran out onto the dance floor. I whispered in Gabby's ear, follow me. We're going to do Baila Camigo. We turned the music down. We allowed her to play the sax a cappella, And then Crystal started playing her hand drum. Everyone started clapping their hands. I scratched then the a clap edit of the track that I have into the original that then they all played together and the entire room went crazy. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It was kind of an unplanned and very organic moment, but it was a powerful moment because we allowed the talent to fly, to show off and to really create something special in the middle of an awesome part of the overall celebration. It helped make it impactful. It helped really, really dial people in and we created something incredibly unique. One thing I forgot to mention is having the proper equipment. I think that's a super critical part of this overall formula. And it is important that you not only have the proper equipment in place, but you are ready for the musicians when they arrive. I like to have cables run already so that a musician can plug in their microphone if those mixers or where they're accessing the overall speaker system are a little bit more challenging to, to, to link into. I like to have everything preset, pre-run and available for them so that they can quickly access the equipment. We can get them dialed in with the sound check and make sure everything is properly balanced. I think having the right gear on site and working properly, sounding proper is really, really, really a very important part of the overall puzzle when working with musicians. The last thing I would like to say to anyone thinking about incorporating fusion into overall celebration, it's so important that you're having fun. And it's so important that your musicians are having fun because they are forward facing. People look at them, they observe, they're putting them on social media. So make sure everyone's having a good time, singing in the words, the songs, hands in the air if they can, and make sure they're smiling the entire time, at least during the big moments. It's so important. I know we've worked with musicians in the past where they're just kind of like playing and like mean mugging. It looks like they're not having fun. They're just kind of coasting on through and that impacts the overall vibe. If people see other people having a great time, loving what they're doing, then that is contagious energy that will overflow into the event and help make it more awesome for everyone in attendance. I hope you enjoyed these things about Fusion. And if you're a DJ thinking of offering Fusion experiences, I have another video that I'd love for you to check out right over here where I dive into some of these very cool principles and even more. Be sure to check it out. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet supported me and this channel with some sub love, I'd be honored if you consider doing it. Thumbs up all around from everyone and be on the lookout for more videos coming very, very soon.